Hi everyone, so tonight I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Pit Build-A-Figure, but it's not technically a Marvel Legends. It is made by Toy Biz um, after they lost the license to the Marvel characters. It's from uh, Legendary Comic Book Heroes. So I'm just going to show the front of the figure. Um, it's kind of a huge figure, so I'm going to try my best to keep the camera as steady as possible. I'm going to turn them around. See the back. back around <laughs> so you guys can see the front and I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see a lot of the, the detail um, it's extremely a detailed figure it's pretty massive um, so I'm going to get a little closer sorry guys okay, as you can see in the, the face it's pretty I mean it's very detailed uh, I'm on camera focus Man, sorry about that, guys. You can see the evil grin on his face, the red eyes, really good detail on the teeth. One thing I really like is each one of those padlocks is actually loosely on there, so you can kind of rotate them as you please. It's even got a sculpt of the where the key goes into to unlock them. Um, just great uh, silver and black washes over the chains. Um, great sculpt on the muscle definition. Look at all the different colors for the blacks and browns and to make the texture of, the, of his skin. The coats um, are like a rubbery, even the chains are all kind of of a rubber. The chains are all molded together, um, but they're all very rubbery. Um, you can see more detail, more chains on his wrist, his fingernails. And it's just really cool, these little padlocks. I really like these. Uh, around his belt, and his jeans are just tattered. You can see pieces of it, oops, sorry. You can see pieces of it hanging off over here. More chains around his ankle, same thing with the other wrist. Go ahead and flip them around. Again, I apologize if it's kind of not the best of these. It's hard to do these big figures. Um, it's really cool, you can see like the, the sculpting onto the kind of the back of his uh, leather jacket of the chains wrapping around him. Again, there's those same padlocks I was showing earlier. His hair. Just all torn on the corners. Looks so cool, and just the colors, the shading, and the you can see his veins on the back. See, just, there's his pants torn open. There's some more of it. There's that part I was telling you about that's hanging off. It's just a really cool figure. And he's pretty massive. Um, okay, I'm gonna try. Forgive me, guys. I'm gonna try my best to do the articulation. It's really hard with these big figures. Okay, especially with one hand. Okay, I'm going to try to keep the camera steady. So his head moves up about that much, moves down. He's got a waist swivel, but I'll keep trying to keep it up here. Uh, his shoulders are very clicky, very tight. He moves down, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. He's got uh, wrist rotation. And what's cool, I love his fingers. Uh, also, his hands move up and down. But he's got individual finger articulation, and each finger's double double jointed. He's got one there, and then one there. So you can do. It's like a real finger. It's just something we never saw with the Marvel um, build of figures like Sentinel or anything. They had finger articulation, but not like this. It's really cool. And then he's got an app crunch. Moves forward that much. Back. He's got the uh, waist swivel. His legs. He's got those ball joints, so he can kick out about that much. He clicks down. He goes out that much. He's got single jointed knees. Sorry guys. Single jointed knees. Goes down. And then he's got uh, rotation at the feet. And he's got a little ankle rocker. And he does have toe articulation. And his ankles move up that. Sorry. It's really hard. <laughs> up that much. And then it moves down about, down about that much. Well, it's not hindered at all because this is so gummy. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to set him back down. I'm going to scoot it back. Oh, and his uh, ponytail is articulated. Never knew that. Just found out just now. Okay, I set him back here. Alright, I'm sorry if that was at all shaky. Um, so then zoom out. I'll put him next to. The other um, build a figure from the legendary comic book heroes, it's uh, Monkey Man. It's 
kind of hard to fit them in my little box here. You can kind of see the little, they're both massive figures. The pitch is really wide. I'll go ahead and get back again. I'll put them in comparison with the Toy Biz Marvel Legends uh, Sentinel. So I'll bring the Sentinel in here. He's a lot skinnier and taller, but it's just kind of uh, definitely an interesting size comparison because look at all, it's just crazy how bulky he is. But let's go ahead and pull them out. But um, yeah, it's a really, really cool figure. The reason I'm doing a, a review of him right now is um, I'm actually, sorry if I made that shaky. Put my hand down. Um, it's actually because I'm probably not going to have him much longer. I'm trading it to a friend. I've been dying to get the San Diego Comic Con X Force 3 pack. And so we're possibly doing a trade for Pit and Monkey Man for the 3 pack. So but if I get the 3 pack, I'll probably be opening that and I'll do reviews on those figures also. But yeah, so I want to do a review on him since I probably won't be having him much longer. But let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button. Definitely leave comments. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do a Monkey Man review next. All right, thanks, guys.